This is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're going to do a Harpoon Oktoberfest. Harpoon is a Boston-based brewery. They've been around since 1986, so they are actually one of the pioneers of craft beer here in New England. Um, we see them everywhere. Them and Sam Adams are pretty much the two dominant players. Uh, they've really done a lot to help us get beer back to where it should be here in New England. Oktoberfest, we've, this is our third Oktoberfest that we reviewed so far this fall. Again, it's a Marzen or March beer. It's brewed in March. It is lagered or stored until October where they crack it open for the big festivals. There are five true Oktoberfest beers in Munich where Oktoberfest actually happens, and they're the only five that are allowed. I've had a few of those. Uh, of course, they don't travel as well. This is a local brew. It's brewed with chocolate and chocolate malt and pale malt. They use Tetanang and Willamette hops in it. It's 5.5 ABV. It also comes with um, 30 on the IBU scale. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a crack. They're shooting for a malty, yeasty, with a little bit of bitter flavor. And that really is the trademark of Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest will be malty, eh, I want to say yeasty or bready. And there is some bitterness to them. Go ahead and give this a pour. Again, uh, Octobers tend to be a little bit dark. This one is. It's got a chocolate head on it, or a, a brownish head on it, which would indicate, or from the chocolate malt, we'll do that. Wow, almost red. I doubt you can see that, but almost red. We would expect that most of our aromas are gonna be malt. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Um, a little bit of a little bit of mom. Um, I'm actually getting a little bit of a hops, almost a citrus, which I don't expect. And I am getting hardly any malt aroma at all. It's actually a very mild aroma. Well, let's give it a taste. That's what we're here for. Malt is the predominant what I'm getting out of this. It's got a, it definitely got bitter. That 30 AB, IBU comes through. I mean, it's not overly bitter, but you do get a bitter, a sharp, bitter taste at the end and your after bite. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's got a nice, uh, with the nice thick head on it. So you go malt and you get the little toasty, the malt flavor, and then you're going to get a nice kick of the nice bite of the hops. I would have to say I like this beer quite a bit. I think we would give this a solid five caps. This is a very drinkable beer. It's a beer that we could drink all night long. We can go back for another one. I like this beer a lot. Until next time.